Welcome to the SM Tech booth here at SMT Hybrid Packaging. Uh, delighted to be joined by Jörg Schupak. Nice to see you again, Jörg. Nice to see you, Trevor. <laughs> okay. So um, we're standing in front of your, your latest animal creation here, the, the tarantula. Yeah, the uh, most poisoned one. Actually <laughs> not, it's, it's, a, it's a nice animal. Huh? I thought it dispensed glue, but never mind, and, and paste. Yeah. But, uh, say, say it looks a little bit ugly, yeah. but then we said the tarantula and made it very nice. So okay. it's a nice machine. Well, my first impression is it looks like a fairly serious heavyweight dispenser. It looks like it's got a massive board size, number, multiple um, heads. Uh, tell me a little bit about it and what was your thinking behind developing this? Okay. Now, we, uh, three years ago, when we started this, the de development of this new platform of pick and place and, uh, and dispensing, uh, we were not so sure about the dispensing. We made intensive studies and figured out for our size of company, the dispensing area has a lot of chances. And we developed first uh, a smaller machine, more for OEM companies, right? Yeah. And proved uh, our jet uh, uh, valves and, and the processes. And now we uh, developed this a little bit bigger, mainly also for the EMS companies, uh, because they always want to have the biggest possible board size. And also we figured out that one valve on a machine is not enough anymore today. Two is okay. But a lot of people want to have three valves or even more. So we decide now we make a three valve machines. For example, you have a glue, you have a solder for very uh, little fine pitch, and you have a, a, a solder jet for larger ones. Right. And this is typical because of speed. Mm -hmm. The smaller valve, you know, cannot really uh, make fast the big dots. Now, there's definitely uh, multiple dispensing applications coming in into boards these days, uh, and, and even a lot of them actually having uh, two-part uh, materials coming into into the process too. Um, the on the valve side, I mean, you, you do you develop your own, or do you use best in class from from the different valve providers? No, no, we are we are using valves which are on the market, okay. and this is also we choose to try to choose companies where we had a very good feeling to work together. Mm -hmm. Because we thought that when we are now going or we go into this super fine pitch, right? Mm -hmm. It is always a combination. Mm -hmm. The combination of a valve, of software, of medium, yeah. rather complicated. Mm -hmm. So we are losing Vermes uh, chats and Mushashi uh, chats in the moment. But, you know, we are always looking around yes. what is the yeah. most optimum. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now, looking at the, the machine itself, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it looks like it's a huge footprint. Uh, it, of course, is built on your... Uh, composite base, which you're n well known for in your pick and place machines. Um, linear motors uh, to get speed and accuracy. Uh, what sort of accuracy are you achieving with it? Yeah, the accuracy what we have is 0.3 to 0.4 uh, uh, on the dot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the linear motors are not just linear motors, they are very specific linear motors because on the same platform we have to be able to do dispensing, chatting with very short distances and very fast uh, acceleration. And on the same platform, we are doing also pick and place yeah. and also in combination. So the speed what we have on the machine here is 145,000 dots on the big uh, on the big machine. On the smaller one, we are a little bit faster. Right, right. Okay. What's your maximum board size in here? Yeah, we are just working uh, uh, or we, we actually just uh, uh, released a longboard version. Standard is 610 by 560 and then we go now to a 1.8 meter and 610 in the width when we are making stepping. Okay, that's obviously for LED lighting applications. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Super. Uh, so um, software goes into your standard E-Place yes, interface. One thing, uh, which is a uh, you know a benefit we have since the last two generation, we are using the same platform. Mm -hmm. Everything is compatible. So uh, also our uh, older customers, who as I have machines from 20, uh, 2012 on, uh, are running action on this EMIS we call it, software or Falcon mm -hmm. software, and uh, this actually gave us a lot of credit in the industry uh, because it's also newly developed, very modern, uh, right. uh, very easy to run and also be able in the same uh, platform uh, to run processes for dispensing and processes for um, 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 pick and place. One thing to say is, for us it's very interesting because we are known as a company for prototype machines, smaller companies, etc. And that's still true today. We are really selling pick and place uh, to mid-sized companies, to small mm -hmm, companies. Mm -hmm. Now, the dispenser machines, we are so, uh, selling to a very large company, also yeah. in the semiconductor uh, business. Mm -hmm. 
but the very interesting, like this machine will go to Roden Schwarz and Memmingen, which is in Germany, a very highly respected company. Yeah. And they also work with us, not as buying and selling. Mm -hmm. It's really a partnership. They also help us, show us, uh, mm -hmm. talk to us, implement with us new features, what they see uh, fruitful for their, uh, for their production. And usually it's also fruitful for the industry. Mm -hmm. So working very close together with this uh, customer brings you really forward. Good, good reference site for you. Yeah. And uh, help each other, you yeah. know, to improve. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, obviously a lot of the equipment around the show floor here today is uh, uh, compliant with uh, the Hermes standard and uh, CFX, uh, are, are you, is Semtex signing up to this? Yes, yes, Hermes, yes. It's very funny, I had another interview yesterday where they asked me, uh, Industry 4.0, where are you? Uh, we said, yeah, we saw just uh, implemented the SecGem. <laughs> and we did. For uh, for Asian comp uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, semiconductor, we did. Sechem is 25 or 20 years old, right? I know, I know. No, the industry 4.0. It's clear. In the moment, it's still kind of a confusing situation. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the Europeans are now Hermes. Uh, the Japanese are doing something yeah. else, etc., etc. What we are doing, Hermes, we already have integrated. Mm -hmm. yeah, that that's that's there. But we are always following. We are not in a size of company where we can make the tact. But at the end of the day, maybe before I get retired, I would like to see where is the worldwide standard to get this industry for really going on a worldwide uh, um, uh, uh, frame. And we will see. If we'll see if this will happen. It's an evolving story, you know. Uh, but yeah. I mean, uh, I think. It's but you have to be on it. You know, you have to be on it. That's true. I mean, I think CFX, for example, has, yeah. has grown very fast as well. Yeah. I mean, it, I think from Apex, it had about 230 members, and it's grown to 350. Yeah. Uh, since then, and very, you know, so I mean. But for us, this is not so difficult since we have the, the, the software and everything in Switzerland. We do everything at home in Switzerland, right? Mm -hmm. And we are, we have one department looking for this integration things. And again, we are not the pacemaker at all, mm -hmm. but we will follow up, but we can integrate the things very fast. That well, makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Jörg, I want to thank you for showing us the tarantula. Uh, I wish you the best of luck with it. Uh, thank you so much. Looks like you're going into an exciting area, and uh, it's nice to catch up with you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.